Good morning, everybody. Pope Binary here, and today we're going to go over a topic you guys have been asking for for a while, and that is what is divergence? And divergence is simply, you know, it's simply a tool, it's a lesson that indicator traders use, right? So this is going to be a lesson for indicators. So before we jump in and I teach you it, here's the quote of the day. I think the secret is cutting down the number of trades you make. That's from Michael Marcus. So without further ado, here is divergence. All right, everybody, as always, whenever I give you guys a new lesson, I whip out the handy dandy PowerPoint here. Please like and subscribe if you catch anything in this video that's useful, and let's jump into it. So divergence, I'm just going to be honest with you. I think this is the most brain dead obvious pattern that you can learn right if you're just looking for a simple way to trade here is a great way to do it and all it is is if you see the market go a certain direction and any any, any indicator it could be you know I prefer to use the relative strength index um, but you can also use things like stata stochastics uh, various other oscillators but basically if you have any sort of indicator that is telling you the market should be going a certain direction but in reality, the market is going the other direction. Uh, something is wrong with the market. Okay? And I'll get into this later. It doesn't mean that something is necessarily wrong with the market. But nine times out of ten, you can expect a strong reaction to occur. So in this hypothetical example, you know, we would expect a strong bearish uh, move to happen any time in the future. Because, you know... Uh, let's say this was a relative strength index, this indicator down here. If the relative strength index was telling me the market should be plummeting, but we're still rising, uh, something is wrong. You know, it, and I'll, I'll get into this, but this is the most straightforward pattern to learn, in my opinion, because it's like it's like if you look outside and you see and you see the clouds, you know, they're darkening up. It's getting ready to storm. But all the weather, all the, you know, all the weather people, all the, uh, oh, I don't even know what they're called, meteorologists, yeah, all the meteorologists are telling you that it's sunny and it's going to be beautiful today. It's like, hmm, you know, you, you got to stop and think about it. It's like, hmm, something's wrong here. Something's fishy here, you know. I think it's about to storm, but why the heck is the market, or why the heck is everybody telling me, you know, it's still going to be sunny, you know. So, in my opinion, it's just common sense. Um, and like I said, you can generally expect a strong reaction that will occur as a result of divergence. Um, but one thing I need to point out to you guys, and this is crucial if you're going to trade divergence, just because you see divergence doesn't mean the market's going to react, right? Divergence is a really strong uh, key in, you know, it's an, it's an edge, right? It lets you know that something's about to happen, but just because, you know, these silly systems that we humans have invented tell you the market should go in a certain direction doesn't mean the market's actually going to do that. You got to keep that in mind, you know. Uh, indicators are not the end all be all, right? The market is going to go where it's going wants to go and you can't control that. But divergence is generally a strong clue that the market, you know, is going to switch directions. Um, and so that's divergence explained and as always now I'm just going to tell you how to best use it. Um, the best times to use divergence uh, are higher highs, lower lows, double tops, and double bottoms, okay? And in each of these, you know, I've got a this video lesson that's going to be rather short uh, because after this, I've just got a bunch of examples I, I, I want to show you all. But uh, all it is, you know, if, if let's take a hypothetical bull market, right, for a higher high. If the market is still rising, but the, div but the indicator is telling you the market should fall, then that's a higher high forming with the divergence telling you you're supposed to fall, that's a good symbol the market's going to flop and likewise and I don't know. It's, it's just so straightforward. Um, and so the best teacher for this is obviously, you know, examples and indicators and actual practice. So first, the, the first example here I've got is an example of a higher high. As we can see, I hope you guys can see my mouse. Um, I'm circling it right here. We can see, you know, we had a high established here. We're, we're in a bull trend. Then, you know, we hit an extended period of consolidation. You know, we come up, we make a higher high. But when you look down at the relative strength index, the market is just absolutely plummeting. Or rather, the market should be absolutely plummeting. And hence, we get a nice move downwards as soon as the bears start to step in. And I wish I could show you... All of these examples today, you know, I'm not because when I took these screenshots, these were at the moment, right? These were, you know, when I saw it happening. 
I, I'd like to let you guys know after each of these screenshots, the market, you know, completely went the opposite direction, if that makes sense, which is why I stored these screenshots. Um, and so what I'm trying to say is basically the market just crashed away after this. This the market continued to fall after this screenshot was taken, right? Um, here's an example of a lower low with divergence, right? And these these past two examples are the strongest examples, I believe, which is why I put them up front for you guys. But basically, we can see, you know, we're in a bear trend. For whatever reason, I think this was a new spike. The market decided to just rally all the way back up to a major uh, resistance point. We come back down, make a new low, but the, our, the, the relative strength index was telling me the market, you know, should be rising. And so we get this nice pin can on, of course, you know, after the time of this screenshot, the market absolutely rallied and we took off again and we made it all the way back up to this upper uh, resistance line. Um, here's an example of a, uh, it's, I would like to call this a double top, but this is more a range, you know, we're, we're at a range, we're at a key resistance point, the market continues to bounce off, but the relative strength index was telling me we should be falling. And likewise, after this screenshot, we got a nice fall um, and here's just some more examples it's very straightforward if you guys haven't caught on to the pattern now <laughs> I don't think you ever will and I'm gonna be honest <laughs> this is so straightforward and uh, feel free to throw you know throw this on the charts um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys I don't trade with indicators a whole lot anymore but you know if I'm seeing a double bottom as confirmation you know if it's an iffy double bottom I'll break out my relative strength index you know just to help me make that final decision to pull the trigger and take the trade right so that's another example of divergence right here there's a nice example of divergence we get a nice engulfing candle and the market took off after this um, likewise this isn't the best example here but you know there was a nice you know kind of sort of double bottom with a with a hammer with a uh, confirmation candle here we got a nice a nice real nice move here likewise you know we get a nice another double bottom here uh, there's another win we get a nice, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, another example. I'm going to see if I can show you guys any live examples. You know, this part may be cut out, but I always, uh, I, I prefer to use the relative strength index 20. That's my preferred uh, thing because I use the moving average 20 and I like it, I like it best. Um, but as we can see here, here's a great example, right? We look right here. What you do is you draw a horizontal line on your chart, right? The market was at on the relative strength index, you know. We can see where, where we hit a period of support, right? But the, the relative strength index was moving up. We can see right here, you know, the market fell away. We get a nice, we get a nice, uh, uh, what should we call it? We get a nice uh, move up on the relative strength index while the price is falling. That tells you, you know, something's fishy here. And as we can see, we're still rising because we we got a nice reaction off that. So I'm really happy that was a good live example. Uh, this is not uh, what you call it. This is not scripted or anything. You know, I literally just pulled out my charts and added the relative strength index uh, to see if I could get any live examples. Another example here. We see the market hit a major resistance point. Uh, we bounce off. We come back up to the point. But as we're coming back up to the point, right? If, I, if we look at this vertical line, as we come back up, we notice the relative strength index is falling, right? And consequently, you know, as the market continues to hover at this resistance point, the market, the relative strength index continues to fall, rather. Uh, so that's where I'm going to wrap up the video. Like I said, very straightforward pattern, very simple. If you found anything useful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm still trying to make... Uh, uh, recommendations for future videos if you've got any of those make sure to drop them in the comment section right now I've got you guys really apparently want more live trades with live thinking my live processing so I'm definitely gonna get one of those out um, there's a few more topics I'm looking into to making some videos but if you have any suggestions drop them in the comment section um, and I'll catch you on the next one